Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is a great day to be editing videos because LumaFusion just released version 3.0, which has some awesome features, which we're gonna be covering today. So let's head on over to the App Store and let's get that update and we'll see you when it's ready. Okay, now that we got LumaFusion updated to version 3.0, I'm going to show you my favorite feature, and that's editing off an external SSD. It's fast, it works great, and it's gonna save you a ton of storage on your iPad. This is gonna allow you to buy a smaller storage version of the iPad, save some money, but still be able to edit for all your videos and not run out of storage on your iPad. It's perfect and I'm so glad that they added this. To use this feature, all you need to do is go to your media browser, click the little folder icon, and click Select Files. Once you're there, hit Add Link to Folder, and you can select your SSD. You can either select your SSD yourself, or you can even link to a folder on your SSD, and then hit Done. Once that folder is there, you can now drag and drop your video footage into your timeline, and start editing. You're gonna notice that each video clip has a little hard drive icon. So what happens if you disconnect your SSD or you load your project and you don't have it attached? I'm gonna show you what it does and how you can reconnect your footage. It's really easy. So once you open up your project, it's going to tell you that you have missing media on an external drive. So that means you need to plug in your external drive. You'll notice that it has red lines through the footage. So once you plug in your SSD, all you have to do is click this little SSD uh, icon down at the bottom. Once you click that, your footage is back. So I already started a project. I wanted to see how well I could edit, scroll through my footage, and export a video to my SSD. So I was working on my reel. And you can see that this is all running off the SSD and it is very smooth. There's no lag. You can scroll through your footage. You can hit play and it works great. It almost runs, it practically runs faster than my computer for editing. I love editing on the iPad for that reason. One of my other favorite features is the ability to uh, resize the windows. There's this little icon right here, and as you grab this, you can drag it around and resize. So if you wanna see, have a bigger viewing window, you're not using your file browser anymore, go ahead and slide that over. Now we can work here. If you need to do a little sound design, drag that up to give you a little bit more room where you can edit and drag audio files in. It's really easy to continue to work as if I was editing right off the ad iPad. I can insert footage, scroll through it, edit it exactly how I want, Okay, once you've finished editing your video, it's really easy just to export it right to that external SSD. You just go down to Share, and you wanna select Movie and Files. If you don't see files, it's really easy to add. Down here at the bottom, you can select Add Edit Destinations, and you can drag this file icon from Available over to In Use, and it will now show up in your list. So hit Files and then you will hit share, and then you'll select the folder on your SSD that you would like to save it, and just hit share. It will process and export, and once it gets done, we'll see how it works. If you've watched my last couple videos where I showed you how to edit and process audio for your videos and then bring the audio into LumaFusion, you're gonna like this next feature. LumaFusion has now added the ability to use external plugins and also they've put in a graphic equalizer. So now it's even easier to make better sounding videos. What you're gonna do is you'll click on your audio file and then when you go to edit, you can click Graphic Equalizer right here, and you can resize this window however you need, and you can tweak the sound, remove unwanted noises, shape your voice, and get the exact sound that you need for your video. 
The other thing that you're going to love is being able to use your external plugins. I always use Breastfree for removing the background ambient sound. And the way you do that is you click on this plugins icon up here. Uh, at first, none of your plugins will show up. You have to import those in. So you just click this little plugin icon, and then you can drag your plugins over to in use, and they will now show up. So when you click on a plugin, you have the graphical interface here that you can use to process. And then some of your plugins, you'll have the graphical interface, and you can also set all the values over here in the settings panel. This feature alone will help you edit faster and be able to have better sounding audio in all of your videos. Now it's time for you to get out there and make some videos to try out all of these new features. I have a lot of fun videos coming up, uh, some drone videos, some filmmaking tips, and it's going to be fun. So while you watch the final version of my reel here, go ahead and like and subscribe while you're watching. And uh, we'll see you in a few weeks for the next video.